Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we will be seeing about Pinecone. So what is Pinecone? Pinecone is a vector database. What is a vector database? Vector database is a database which is generally used for uh, storing the embeddings. Okay so whatever data type you have whether let's say it's PDF, image or CSVs you can vectorize them using any model and then those vectors you you need you 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 uh, you need a place where you can store those vectors okay so hence we use vector databases and pinecone is one of the most popular vector databases okay you also must have heard about fez and chroma they are internal vector databases which use the system's ram okay for storing the vectors and pinecone is an external database okay so there will be a series of videos on pinecone okay so in this video we'll be seeing just the basics of pinecone okay and uh, with more videos we'll be going into much depth okay so in the first cell here i'm installing the required pinecone client and pandas okay then here i will be entering my pinecone api key and my pinecone environment so how to get your own pinecone api key and environment you just need to do a pinecone api key search go to quick start and from here go to pinecone console once you have an account on pinecone you would be getting a starter type at first okay so here you can see that this is the starter type okay this is a free tier which is given to you by pinecone for exploring pinecone okay and here you can see that they uh, there is no index created uh, this is my API key, okay, the environment is GCP here, okay, and this is the members, okay, uh, you can add multiple members also, okay, and if you want to upgrade to a higher, uh, higher plan, then you can upgrade to a higher plan, okay, so this project which you are seeing here, Pinecone Exploration, this is my upgraded uh, Pinecone project, okay. So we'll be seeing this in the later videos, but for now, let's just stick to starter type. Okay. So as you can see that here, no index is created. So the first question which comes is what is index? Okay. So we can think of index as the highest organizational unit in Pinecone. Okay. Similar to the way we have, uh, tables in SQL, you can modify, create, insert rows and tables. Similarly, we have indexes in which we will be uh, inserting vectors, deleting vectors, updating vectors, okay, uh, in this format, okay. So let's create an index. One way is that you can create an index from here only, okay, but we'll see it via code, okay, UI is uh, straightforward, okay. So here my Pinecone API key was the key there and the environment was GCP starter. Okay. So here, as you can see that there were no index created. So Pinecone list index here is empty. Okay. So here from the set environment variable, I am getting my API key and environment and I'm initializing my Pinecone instance. Okay. Now here I'm giving the index name as hello Pinecone. Okay. Now, this is my index name. So let's do one thing. Let's create the index. Okay. So here I'm keeping your dimensions as three. So this means that the vectors which will be stored into my index will be of dimension three. Okay. And here I'm keeping the metric as cosine. So for all the operations of similarity between vectors, it will be using cosine similarity. Okay, so if you don't know what is cosine similar similarity, I, uh, it's very simple. You can just do a simple Google search or just watch a video of five minutes on YouTube. You would be clear. Okay, so I got my index as hello pinecone created now. Okay, and here I'm doing the connection with that index. Okay, now let's see if in my console I can see my index. Okay, here it's not visible. Let me do a refresh. It's taking time. So 
सो मच लेटेंसी राइट टिक सो मच टाइम जनरली इट डजेंट टेक्स टाइम बट या इट टुक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो या दिस इज द इंडेक्स विच आई क्रिएटेड हेलो पॉइंट कोन ओके एज यू कैन सी दैट द डायमेंशन योर इज थ्री द एनवायरमेंट योर इज जी सी पी स्टार्टर एंड दिस इज माई होस्ट वेर वेर माई वैक्टर डी बी इज क्रिएटेड ओके देन योर आई कैन डिलीटेड फ्रॉम योर ऑल्सो ओके and uh, you are in config i can see that uh, the replica is one uh, this is generally used uh, for increasing the availability of your vector db if let's say one in, one uh, index for some reason goes down you have a replica there okay and this is the pod size okay when you want to have uh, scalability and all those picture you use different pod sizes okay now your uh, our index got created and we connected our index now let's insert some data into our index okay because the dimension set here is 3 my vectors will be of three dimensions okay so your my id is c and b and here i am upserting my values in the index okay so as you can see upserted count here is 2 so two entries have been inserted into my index now let me do a describe and as you can see that the dimension here is 3 how come the total vector count is 2 if uh, the upserted count here is 2 it should be 2 right let me do a refresh again yeah so as you can see that the total vector count is 2 okay there is uh, in this api there is some uh, latency still okay previously like 2 3 weeks back the latency was much higher at least now it is somewhat less previously i used to do it like th two three times to see the actual values okay but now at least it happens much quicker than previously but still there is some latency okay what is index fullness it just gives you an idea about how much percentage is occupied okay what is namespaces we'll see namespaces later vector count here is 2 and total vector count is 2 okay now what exactly is namespaces here okay think of namespaces uh like uh, uh more sections into your index okay now let's say if i had a index of all the movie data okay now in that i want to create some subdivisions so i created a namespace of comedy where i can put in all comedy movies i created a namespace of horror where i can put in some horror movies okay yeah the ids this id which you can see here c b okay they can be same in namespaces but their values can be different okay so it means that different namespaces can have the same ids the same ids can be there in namespaces but you can change the values okay with starter type you only get an empty namespace default option with you if you want to have the feature of namespace you need to upgrade to a standard plan okay so here now uh, we saw the stats of the index and now uh, before doing a query let me just show you the index on the console okay once we see it it's better how can i'm not un unable to see my index here okay yeah it was just not refreshed okay so here we can see that this is my index free tier and once i click on it you can see that the vector count here is 2 okay these are my vectors okay c b okay this is some default query which they do okay so let's uh, let's uh, avoid this part for now these are my values because the dimension were 3 so this is the three dimension vector value i can edit them from here okay i can do a nearby search nearby operation also and i can do a delete also from here okay let me show you editing it let's say if i changed it to 4 i can do update and as you can see that the upsort operation has been done here successfully okay now what more we going to see we so the environment your gcp starter the region where my starter uh, package vectors are it's in uh, loa in us central okay the provider is gcp similarity is cosine pod type is starter okay pod type just think of pod type like 
uh, pod generally is a word used in K uh, kubernetes it's a wrapper built around containers okay just think of pod type as a computing machine for now okay vector count here is two if you want to see the metrics yeah so here you can see that these, uh, these are my previous operations which i did i did a upsert there's some query operation you can update it delete it fetch it okay so these are the operations which you can see via graph that how many requests were done okay if there was an error you will be seeing it here if there was a latency you will be seeing it here and what was the vector count you will be seeing it here okay from time you can see the entries five minutes ten minutes okay well, what I observed in this chart is the data uh, to reflect it still takes time okay it still takes time to have the exact data updated here okay now we saw the vectors and uh, huh, so we will be seeing the query by vector okay so that, so there are two ways by which you can do a query one is query by id and the another one is query by vector so let's say if i do a query by id I can see my ID C has come here, but B has also come. Okay. B has also come because I am uh, telling him to return me top 50 rows. Let me keep it one. Now, as you can see, only one entry came here of C. Okay. Similarly, you can do a query by vector also. Here, some random vector is there, and you can do a query, and it will be giving you the closest vector to that vector okay as you can see that the similarity score is 0 0.9931 with this value how is this similarity being calculated using cosine similarity okay you uh, you can absurd records from here also let's say i created id a for example and here i am putting entry 12 12 and 12 okay what is metadata? What is parse data? We'll come to those into next videos. Okay. Let's keep it simple for now. Okay. Now let me do uh, top three and we can see A here now. Okay. It didn't give A. Didn't it updated? Huh. As you can see here, we can see A now, which we upserted from here sorted from here here they use update and uh, insert in the same way so update plus insert absurd okay so as you can see vector count here is three now and uh, these things we already saw okay now the next thing here is we will be doing this similar thing via code okay now let me do a query of this 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 a top k value of five and give me the values also okay so as you can see all the three returned let me keep it to just one so it will give me the closest to this vector okay as you can see that as per him a is the closest okay and by deleting index you can delete the index also so in this way what we saw in this video was what is pinecone, how to create index, how to get your API keys environments, how to absurd data into it, how to query it via code, via UI, both of them, okay, and how to delete them up also, okay. Uh, what is metadata, what is metadata filtering, what is parse data, what is namespaces, how they come handy, we'll be seeing those into the coming videos, okay. The metric here is cosine you can have different ways also there are other parameters also by which you can change the metric okay so yeah this is what i had now as uh, we have deleted the index let me show you on ui that the index here is not visible now hmm. so as you can see that the index here is not visible now because it got deleted okay so yeah, this this was a small video on uh, Pinecone basics, first video. In, in the coming videos, we'll be discussing about namespaces, metadata filtering, okay, and other things, okay. So yeah, 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff. Take care. Peace out.